Hey everyone, I got a couple of Dell uh, Optiflex here. This is the 790 and this is the 710, 7010. This is i5 and this is i7. I don't really know the exact speed or the specs. Anyway, um, before I get started, just want to say that uh, I got this for free, so I'm going to have my uh, kids deal with it. They just want to say, have a hard drive, doesn't have a memory. So it's, pretty, it's like bare bones. So. I'm gonna have my kids uh, play with it you know you gotta teach them I'm gonna show you how so they have some little bit knowledge already but you know, I still have to show them how to do it I'm gonna install Linux on this one Mint Linux so I'm gonna have them install the RAM install the hard drive and see and boot it up and see and then we can see the specs all right here we go My son will be working with me on this one. Uh, I can't show his face because with the new uh, YouTube policy. So before I used to show him when we were fixing something, but now no. That's my son right now. I can show this guy. Hey, smile, 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 you. Smile, smile. There she is. All right, we're gonna open this Dell, the 790. All right, open it, guys. And as you can see, it's bare bones. There's no hard drive, there's no hard drive slay, no memory. So he's gonna install the memory as he's gonna put the SSD and pretty obvious that we cannot put it here. So we're gonna have to put it somewhere in there. Hey, don't drop any here, don't we? All right, install the memory. You're gonna be like this. You see how there's a little teeth over there? Just line that up. So we got three sticks of memory uh, two gig each so he's gonna install one over there I'm just gonna line them up and push it down just line up the gap you gotta open that now push it you gotta push it you gotta snap it in but push it bigger. Push it harder, man. Push. Push, come on. Pushing. You're not pushing it. Look, look. Two hands. Then one hand. See, it snaps in. So oh. do it. Okay. Don't be afraid. Just push it in. Push it in L close, but it's harder. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Push harder, no. I need to work out some more boy. No, no. Push. Push the side. Push over here. Right here. Like there, right there, there. Go. Push it. Don't be scared. Just push it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing. Yes, you can. A little bit more. Right, let me push it. This okay, look. I did that last one. Okay, you do it. There you go. You got that one. See, that was easy. So we get uh, this one. Does it have a STA cable? Put it on the blue. Okay. There you go. Line up the little thing there. Guide. You see it only goes one way, right? Got it? Yeah. Alright. Um since we can't put any uh we can't put the SSD here. So the only way we can put it is somewhere here. So put this one first the power. See how it shaped the teeth the there? Line that up. It only goes one way. Don't be 
disturbed. Light up the the, the SATA cable. It only goes one way too. I think the only place we could put this is over here, right? There you go. Do you have the screwdriver? Go ahead and tighten that. The other way, but righty loosey. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So uh, this is good. Now we we'll boot it up, put the cover back on. This one doesn't have a video card that's external, and I mean it doesn't have a video card on the PCI slot, so we can uh, use the built-in video card. Good. Tap it. Lift it up. Lift, just hold, lift the whole PC up. Sideways. I mean, standing, standing up. Okay, he's gonna plug the display cable port right there. It only goes one way. Look at the shape, the, the hole. There you go, and you need the power. Our supply is here somewhere. There you go. Alright, you can uh, this is the installer that we have. We're just gonna plug it in the back. USB only goes one way too. There you go. Okay, uh, we updated the BIOS to A22, and this thing was uh, manufactured date is A22. Uh, it was sold in 830, I think. I don't know. And memory on this one is showing a six gig, 133 megahertz. Uh, Dual Interleave DDR3. 2 gigabyte a piece and this is an Intel 240 2400 is it 240? <laughs> 2400 CPU at 3.0 gigahertz just 4 core on this one it's a quad so alright we're gonna continue I'm gonna exit this one alright guys you stay on this side you're gonna be doing the when you see the Dell logo then do F12 See both options. Go to USB storage, arrow key, enter. Ah, uh, USB, USB. There you go. And it should boot to the Linux Live, the Mint Linux. Let's see if it works. Look like it didn't work, huh? Mm -hmm. If 12 again. We should have booted there. Maybe I didn't do it right there. 
There you go. Start Mint Linux. Enter. Right now it's just starting on the CD. I mean the USB. But looks really good. Looking good so far actually. Linux boy, you wanna install it? Go ahead, install it. Mint Linux, this what? Click this icon over here. Go ahead, install the whole thing. Alright, we're not gonna bore you with the installation, so we're gonna be back after we install this. Okay, that took about what, 10 minutes to install, right? Just about 10 minutes. No, we're not gonna test, we're gonna restart now. Yeah. Remove the, the the USB. Press enter. Let's see how fast it boots to the uh, Linux. Hey, where did it go there? Let's just do the defaults. Okay, press anything. Did you press anything? I'll show you the specs for the i7 too after this thing is done. Then we're not gonna show you installation because you already saw how what we did on this one. Let's see how fast it's gonna load the Linux. Dang, that was fast. This is the newest version. This is Cinnamon 64 bit, Mint Linux 19.3. No, we don't want to see that. Alright, so. Alright, so here's the operating system Mint Linux 19.3, Cinnamon version 44.5. Processor is an Intel Core what? i5 240 CPU at 3.0. 10 gigahertz times 4 core it's a quad memory is 5.7 hard drive is is actually at 240 gig but you know the system takes about took 20 gigabytes so this is the ssd and the graphics card is an intel core built in all right so that's about it for this one i'm just gonna show you the specs for the i7 and i'm gonna end this all right this is the optiplex 710 we have also updated the BIOS on this one as 829. Manus manufacturing date is uh, 627 2014. And uh, this one has 606 gig of RAM installed. And I added a SDA card and a SATA SSD for uh, 500 gigabyte card on this one. And this one has a VGA uh, card on it. So I have to use the DVI cable and uh, since it was a separate card I actually removed the card and had my daughter install the card had her install a memory and we haven't the only thing I haven't let her do is install Linux because I think I don't know what to put on this one yet maybe a uh, Windows 10 or maybe another Linux machine all right Here's the processor, uh, Intel i7-3370, I believe that's an IB, so it's running, uh, lap speed is 3.4 GHz right now, and it's, 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 a, it's a quad, 64 bit, and there's the SATA, HP 500. Alright, that's it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, goodbye.